going on everybody? Today I am bass fishing. I am with the lettuce man himself. It is him and I today. We're going to be fishing out of his boat on this lake. It is a beautiful day. It's like 10 a.m. right now. It feels so great to be back in Texas, not in the cold Nebraska weather. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I am going to use an app on my phone to find fish. Yes, you heard that right. An app on my phone. What app is this, you might ask? Netfish. I have used it before and it has worked. So uh, I'm basically going to use my phone, go to the maps, and basically what Netfish does is it has little waypoints on this lake that show where either past people have caught fish or where they suggest to go fishing for the time of the year, what baits to use, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to use that app to try to find some fish here and catch some fish today. If you have not tried Netfish, I would appreciate it if you went down below, click the link. Thank you, Netfish, for sponsoring this video. Let's catch some fish. So we got the boat in the water. Perrick's filming a video uh, for his channel and he's doing it blindfolded. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, you're good. Wait, you're going that way. Yeah, no, you're good. You go this way? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you're such an ass. Back her up. Keep going back. Keep going back. All right, you're gonna have to, I right, go forward. Crank it hard this way. Crank it, keep cranking. Keep talking, I think I can. Yep, keep cranking it this way, this way. Yep. All right, nope, 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 yep. Keep cranking it, all right, just straight, right there. Now hang hard this way. There you go, hard, 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 hard. All right, stop. Jeez. <laughs> All right, you gotta take over. We're good. We're good. Look at this kid. He's freaking blindfolded. This is so hard. All right. All right, blindfold McGee back there. I'm gonna start off with a little swim bait, a little underspin. Um, right here. I'll hand it to you. There you go. No, no way. Yeah, that is a fish. Yeah, he has a fish. No way. You caught a fish before me and you're blindfolded. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right do you need help? Right, no, no, I want to land it. Okay, he's close. He's probably seven, seven feet of line out maybe. Yeah, you're getting close. All right, all right. Yep, yep, go ahead and reach down for it. Is he big? No, two, two pounder. I cannot believe you actually caught that fish right there. Yep, there you go. Blindfolded. Heck yes! I did it! I caught a fish from four flare. That wasn't really my challenge, but I, <laughs> I, I'm really proud of myself. And I'm releasing her. Wow, you actually hit the water when you <laughs> threw it. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I feel accomplished. I caught my first fish. And um, I just almost hooked a cow. So Perry caught the first fish of the day. It was actually right on a point. So there's like a there's a creek that comes through here, and then there's a little drop off. And on the Netfish app, there is a dot all right on there. I'll show you guys a little clip right here, exactly where we're standing. And uh, so that was the first fish of the day. We've kind of gone, we've bounced around the different waypoints on the Netfish app map, and just haven't had any luck. The wind's blowing. The wind actually kind of died down a little bit. He caught it on a jerk bait right on that break. And uh, we're just gonna keep going down here. There's a few more waypoints along this bank. Hopefully we can uh, catch a few more fish. Come on, fish. There's one, there's one. Yep, yep. Uh-oh, it might be decent. Come on, stay on there, buddy. Stay on there, stay on there. Oh. Oh my God, it came off. Oh my God. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Oh my, it just, it ripped out. It literally just ripped out, yeah. Oh man, that would have been nice. Fishing is really tough right now. We're both, we're both throwing traps. I got freaking obliterated. God, that was a good fish. What happens sometimes throwing these things i'm basically just casting out there and ripping it free of grass you guys can see he's got these little trebles on there actually i downsized and changed colors first trap wasn't working throwing this guy out there but when you're ripping it up and letting it flutter they have to basically smack it 
really, you know, really fast. I don't have time to really inhale it. And uh, a lot of times you just won't get a good hook in them. Oh man, it's all right. It gets my confidence going. Blind, blindfold McGee back there. He has one up on me, so confidence was not okay. Easy. He just about hooked his camera guy. Confidence was not super high, but I'm feeling it now. I feel like I'm in the zone. Okay. Not reflective. There's one, there's one, there's one. Yes, yes, first fish, baby. Get in here. Oh, he's water skiing him. Get in here, get in here. Woo! Freaking giant on the chatterbait. Dude, Parrot gets like four freaking pounds. Really? Yeah. What'd you, on the black one? Uh, Black and yellow. Yeah. Now, you just, you literally just hooked my, okay. They hooked me up with the black and yellow. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. Okay, you just release All right. Yeah. Let me let me get let me get rid of this little guy right here. That's my first fish. I'm gonna throw him on the scale. Parrot's test is 1.2. Here we go. What does the real sonar scale say? 0.93. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a freaking squeaker. Oh wow. See you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey's gone. Well, blindfold McGee still up there. Just caught my very first fish of the day. I wanted to talk about a little bit more about this app though. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking what the heck is it? What exactly does it do? So what you could do is it has a map and it has like GPS location. So it tells exactly where you are and you can click the button that says fishing nearby and it'll show you lakes and rivers and streams and creeks that have fish in them and it has all the different species on it. And then basically you click on that link and it takes you exactly to the lake and it'll tell you based on the conditions what they suggest that you use to catch the fish as well as little waypoints around the lake that suggest where to go fishing based off of people that have previously been fishing there and they've entered their information or based on the contour of the lake where all the drop-offs are maybe any brush piles that they might know of it'll mark it all for you so instead of like we're on Parrick's boat we don't have a depth finder on here so we have no idea where the drop-offs are how deep we're fishing but this this map here shows exactly where to go around the bank that has all the decent little little areas of of fishing another thing you can do on the app is earn rewards which earn you points to get free gear sorry, and everybody. you're what yeah, you're just gonna have to chill for a second. I'm telling people how they can win free fishing gear. It's kind of important if you don't, yeah, if you didn't notice. Anyways, and then there's also fishing articles on there that teach you, you know, how to catch fish so you can learn more. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up because I gotta help. I gotta help. I'm just gonna call you Blind Boy McGee. Oh, oh you did get it. You got it. You got his lure out. Anyways, let's uh, go back to fishing. You got one? Oh my god. Oh, oh Sam's got one. Giant? This is a fucking giant. Oh god. This is a giant. Sam's hooked up. This is an absolute giant. No way. Is it actually? Oh, dude, I think it's a freaking Mondo. Not even a little. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No way. All right, I'm taking my blindfold off for this. You got to see this, dude. He's not even messing with you. Oh, God. Dang, son. Woo! <laughs> Look at that fish, dude. Oh, my gosh. Boom. Chatterbait fish, huh? Chatterbait. This is the same spot you caught. You see, you didn't know that. He has this right blindfold. Off. This is where you caught your fish. You see, this is oh, the, really? the creek. Oh. Yeah, this is literally the, the waypoint is right in here. 3.8. I'll say four right on the nuts. Real sonar scale says 421. Wow. That's it's a good fish, dude. Yeah, that's longer good, than I thought. Yeah, that's that's definitely a bigger fish. There you go, dude. Let this bad boy go. See you later, Darrell. Oh, got him. Look at you naming your fish. Well, what was that on, Chatterbait? Chatterbait, black and blue. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we might be on to something, folks. Bunkers, right? We might be on to something. All right. Uh, Chatterbait's it. There's one, there's one. Yep, yep. Dude, that's a decent one, that's a decent one. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. I'm drinking water out there. Come here, buddy. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Look at you just taking a snack break over there. Look at it. Not even, not, literally not even hooked. Freaking chatterbait. Not quite as big as Sam's, but definitely upgraded. Same spot. Literally the same exact spot. We've had three fish in this exact same little pool that goes back in the little canal. It's just, it goes shallow, 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 and then it, there's a little shelf right here. And uh, that's where the fish are. Toss her on the scale. All right, I'm guessing. Three and a quarter. Oh, that was pretty close. Huh? Right at right a little over three. Yep. A little over three, not bad. 
right there fellas that is another fish in the bag blindfold mcgee he's on the struggle bus in his defense he he can't see but he's uh he's just he's taking a snack break and regain some power hopefully he can land a land another fish all right george see you later buddy Woo. how's that make you feel who me yeah just fabulous why did i like what you said this idea last night and i was like oh this is gonna be fun this is awful is this my rod? No, that's mine. Can you pass me mine? It? It's right there. Left, left, southwest, left. Your other left. Do you know what arm your left this is? left! Right there! Oh. God! <laughs> I am, I'm getting out of your way before you freaking hook me. Okay, you gotta help me. Crazy, man. All right, you are you got grass. Okay, well, you got, oh, yep, yep. Okay, you just cast a chatter, baby, with about a foot of seaweed on it. But that is another fish in the bag. So, so far we've kind of dialed him in. Sam, thanks to Sam, he, he figured out the chatterbait pattern. And uh, he was actually nice enough to give me his chatterbait. And uh, yeah, we're catching fish. Perrick's got chatterbait on too. He's just, he doesn't know where he's casting. So it's not quite as easy for him. Let me see. I can catch, I can literally catch. There's one. Yep. 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 Another one. Oh my God. Woo! <laughs> like, Am I like casting in the right places or what's wrong? I mean, you're casting decent. I mean, I don't know. Look at that fish. Is it Freaking thick? giant. Yeah, dude. Another four. You got one, one fifteen. Big old giant. See you later, buddy. Whoop. I think it'd be hilarious. That's a fish. That's a fish. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. No. Yep. Right there, buddy. Yeah. Oh, come on. Get in here. Get in here. Yes. Woo. Oh, son. Is it big? It's decent. Two pounder. It's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it, folks. Sick. Dang, he was not coming off. Holy crap. Throw them on the real sonar scale. What we got? 165. All right, see you, buddy. Woo! Perfect. Six and a half hours later. What's going on, everybody? I uh, wanted to extend this video because I feel like it was probably a little bit sh cut short. I am with my man, Fat Cat Newton, and uh, we're at the good old Bass Pro Shops. I'm going to be doing a little bit of tackle shopping today because like i said earlier i'm kind of tired of stealing parrot stuff we'll get those snacks. snacks we need snacks snacks are important and uh and so i'm just gonna buy a bunch of stuff and i guess the only thing you guys can really get from this is what what my go-to baits are just in general to use in text i'm only gonna buy the baits that i know i use a lot uh but it's starting with, ter with terminal tackle all the way up to swim baits frogs all that fun stuff Why'd you let me do that? $703, folks. I was expecting to spend like 150, 200 bucks. No idea why I spent that much. I have all the tackle I ever need back home. All I have to do is ship it down here and use it for the winter. I'm an idiot. Well, <clears throat> yep. I was expecting to go in there, buy a few baits, show you guys what my go-to lures are and I bought every lure that I've ever caught fish on. So, ended up being about 700 bucks, that's sick. Uh, not actually, uh, kinda really, really regret doing this because I, I own probably multiple of every single one of these baits that I just bought. Like probably, I probably have like five of everything I bought already at my house that I've collected since I was like 12 years old that are just brand new, um, but I just don't have any of it in Texas. And carrying that stuff, you know, through the airports and stuff, not a huge fan, so you never know what you're gonna need. So I decided I'll just buy everything that I think I'll need. What do you think about my uh, 
poor spending habits. Yep. Pretty bad. Yeah, making it rain in Bash Pro. I'm proud of you. You're proud of me. I'm proud of you. Yep, you're buying Whopper ploppers in December, pretty much. November, December. Very good, wise choice. Good call, right? Because like those will get a lot of use over the next four or five months. No, I mean you manage your money very wisely. You're doing big things. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I dumped everything out in my bedroom floor, and I was like, yeah, I messed up. It's so serious, dude. It's bad. It's so bad. I just. I was so frightened. You guys have to understand. I've been borrowing Perix in a little bit, John. Mainly just Perix, just because Perix just Perix, and he, yeah. Anyways, I've been borrowing their stuff for since the last time I had my truck down here, which was maybe April. I think may, maybe April, maybe even March. I think the last time I drove down here was March. So think about that. From March until basically December, I've been having to, buy, which I haven't been down here a lot. It's not like I, I haven't really used any of this stuff, like ruined it, maybe a few packs of the plastics and a couple of jigs or something. But like, I was so tired of like having to go borrow his stuff because I don't know where his, his, his the most unorganized freaking tackle room in our garage. I have no idea where anything is. It took me like 20 minutes a day to find EWG freaking hooks. And I was like, I'm done. I'm done doing this. So instead of, I should, I should have, I should have just flown home and then shipped a box down here and just let it sit here. You and then, should have just bought a pack of five odd hooks and a can of Vienna sausages and Texas rig Vienna sausages. That's one of the best techniques in Texas. How do you not even know that? Yeah, Texas I'm just, I'm Vienna such a rookie. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm such a rookie. But anyways, hopefully you guys somewhat understand. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just... I just kind of started going, I was like, if I'm going to buy this, you know, I know I'm going to buy this and then this is going to be biting or they're going to be biting on this and I'm not going to have it. And I just didn't want to have that situation. So I bought all those lures. I'm going to use all those lures and I'll actually probably still bring some stuff down from Nebraska that I didn't, I didn't buy more some seasonal stuff because apparently whopper ploppers aren't the greatest thing in the world to throw in December. Right. But I bought three, three of them. So you definitely, yeah, no, I don't know I'm why. I'm proud of you, man. They, yeah. Definitely. Anyways. Bad. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was fun. Peric was blindfolded, looked like a fool. He made that video. I uh, I used an app on my phone to find fish on a lake and catch fish, which is pretty incredible nowadays. Living in modern technology, using modern technology to catch fish. Pretty incredible stuff, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Your boy will be linked down below. Go check him out. Funny, <laughs> funniest guy. Funniest guy on YouTube right now. And uh, make sure you hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Maybe come up with a challenge for me. I, I'm kind of running out of ideas. You know, I've only done this for six years and 750 videos. So I'm coming a little bit short on challenge ideas. Comment some down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.